Fifth serves more than 11,000 children and their families each year, encouraging them to go beyond the possible and discover their dreams through education, nutrition, advocacy, and prevention services. Find out how you can help support children and families in your community by visiting YFSFoundation.org or call 342-4195. Next August, the 2016 Olympic Games, live from Rio. Watch the 2016 Olympics right here on News Center One. Your one news source. This is News Center One. Good evening, I'm Caroline Patrikas. Thanks for joining us tonight. You're watching News Center One at 10. A big weekend for the state of South Dakota. Pheasant season opens today. State wildlife officials estimate bird numbers are up nearly 42% this year. They say due in part to two consecutive years of favorable winter and spring weather conditions. In years past, hunters report harvesting nearly $1.6 million, no million birds, excuse me. But that's not only good news for sportsmen, a strong pheasant season also means means more dollars for other businesses in the state of South Dakota. South Dakota Game Fish and Parks estimates in 2014, pheasant hunting boosted the state's economy by more than $150, $50 million. The season attracts in-state hunters as well as non-residents. The second annual All for Asher 5K took place this morning at Founders Park in Rapid City, a fundraiser where families come together to support a good cause. Asher Bockelman is a two-year-old boy diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. He's been battling this disease for over a year now, but is in remission. His family's been traveling regularly to Boston and Minneapolis to get Asher the best treatment possible. Although in remission, he's still required to go for scans every three months to ensure that he remains cancer-free. Melanie Tony is a friend and co-worker of Asher's mother, Sarah, who's been there for the family since Asher's diagnosis. It's really, really um, hard when Asher was first diagnosed because she came back to work after the weekend and um, he went to the doctors and we got the note afterwards and they took a medical flight right away to Um, Minneapolis and the story just progresses from there so it was uh, one day everything was fine and the next it wasn't so it was we decided at that point that we really needed to do something and Sarah and her husband are huge runners and it made total sense to us to do a 5k. Asher's mom says it's tough to cope with having a sick child but there are ways to get through it. Number one take it a day at a time five minutes at a time if you have to that's what you need to do to get through it. Um, reach out to other people that, that have been there because they know they know the way around it. I know way more about cancer than I ever thought I would a year ago. Um, so it's just reach out to those that have been there and they'll help you along. And donations can be made to the All for Asher Fund at Wells Fargo Bank. Halloween is around the corner and things are getting spooky in the Black Hills. New Center One's Erica Horvatine takes a paranormal investigation tour through the historic Adams House in Deadwood. For the third time only, the Adams House in Deadwood opens up to the public for paranormal investigation tours, perfect for anyone seeking a thrilling experience close to Halloween. The Adams House was built in 1892 by Harris and Anna Franklin. Since then, the Old Victorian has been preserved by the Deadwood Historic Preservation Commission and the Adams Mastrovich Family Foundation. Original furniture and belongings still furnishing the historic home. I think it really piques people's interest and it's another way for us to tap into a new audience and get them into our museum and experience something incredibly different. The house is known for being haunted. Paranormal investigators such as the Black Hills Paranormal Investigations have searched for paranormal activity and have had chilling experiences. So we've been here numerous times. Uh, this last time out was just three weeks back and we got some pretty compelling evidence. We've got a lot of footsteps, we've got voices, we've got singing and humming and we can't tell where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. And we don't know who it is. We have a, an idea or two maybe of who it might be, but we don't know for sure. Skeptics like myself and the investigators have entered the Adams house debating the reality of the evidence that has been gathered and left the house with even more questions. The Black Hills paranormal investigators explain that they do not try to prove or disprove any paranormal activity during their investigations. What we're going to try to do is find reasonable explanations for the experiences they're having. And 90% of the time we can. Sometimes we can't and that's what makes us scratch our head and come back and try to find out what's going on.
I had the chance to take a brief paranormal tour of the Adams House. Mo and I made our first stop in the library, known as one of the more active rooms. Mo spoke out loud, prompting a response from Mildred, a previous resident of the home. Nothing happened the first few times he spoke, but we soon had a bone-chilling experience. Out of complete silence, the floorboard creaking under an old wooden rocking chair. It can be heard after Mo moves his hand. The experience was eerie and my heart was beating out of my chest, but I managed to keep my composure. The noise was small and mysterious and not as frightening as I would have thought. Mo explains that this is the type of activity the team normally encounters. You can help the clients understand what's going on and they don't have to be afraid. You know, it's not the things you see on TV where it's going to drag you down the stairs and into the basement or anything like that. I encourage people to check out the Adams House Paranormal Investigation Tours for themselves. The widely popular event is filling fast. A few spots are still available for October 23rd and 24th. For News Center One, I'm Erica Horvatine. Hey, let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Erica Horvatine tonight. Erica, what's in store for us? Well, we had a beautiful day in the hills today. Temperature is only hitting 61 for our high, and we are going to be seeing a big switch up in our weather the next couple of days. This week, what we're looking at is unseasonable Sunday tomorrow. Then we will see a cold front bringing us back to fall-like temperatures that will stick around for the remainder of the week. And we will have a few rain chances, one tomorrow night and, and again later in the week. Alrighty, thank you, Erica. Looking forward to that later tonight. The violence continues in Israel. Knife attacks result in three people dying. We'll be covering that ongoing conflict in the West Bank later in international news. Stay with us. You're watching News Center 1 at 10. We'll be right back. Now, I don't know anything about ads. The trees, perennials, landscaping, I'm your guy. But Midcontinent Business Solutions made it happen. My rep learned about my company, then her team came up with what to say. Midco's crew who shot the commercial knocked it out of the park. We even won an award. <laughs> For a guy who doesn't know advertising, I've got a great commercial. Affordable, award-winning TV ad production by Midcontinent Business Solutions. See our work at midcontinent.biz. children are so precious. Let's keep them safe every moment. Using safe sleep guidelines can make all the difference. Babies sleep best on their backs, in a safe crib, alone. No bumper pads, toys, pillows, or blankets whenever and wherever baby sleeps. Every sleep time counts. Learn more for baby's sake. As you can see, I'm a mom. But what you probably didn't know is I'm a mom and a collector of third century Han Dynasty daggers. And that's a lot like Perkins. Because Perkins isn't just about breakfast, there's a whole other side to them. Especially with their money-saving great plates menu. Over a dozen items from four to eight dollars. I like the double catch. The kids love the bacon grilled cheese. Do you need a knife? Oh no, I've got a dagger. It's third century. Breakfast and a whole lot more. It all comes together at Perkins. Green Tree has become Ditech. New name and new opportunities. Highly competitive wages and an impressive benefits package. We have immediate openings for full as well as part-time opportunities in a broad range of phone and non-phone positions, including customer service, collections, correspondence, foreclosure, and many more. See our website for a complete list of job descriptions and openings. Apply today at Ditech.com. You'll be glad you took advantage of the new opportunities and made the move to Ditech. Welcome to High Country Guest Ranch, where Western and Native American cultures unite. Spacious log homes and camping cabins wait your arrival in the heart of the beautiful Black Hills. Close to Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse, it is the perfect place for your Black Hills vacation. The High Country Outdoor Theater is the summer home of Brulee, the number one Native American show in the country. The popular Circle B Chuck Wagon is serving up tasty cowboy dinners and Western harmonies. Come on out for an afternoon trail ride, an evening show, or spend the weekend with us. We'd love to have you. This is New Center One. Weather with meteorologist Erica Horvati. Welcome back. Well, it was a beautiful day in the Black Hills today. Very fall-like. We hit 61 for our high. And those temperatures are dropping quick out there. Look at our temperature right now. 37 degrees and a lot of that heat has been escaping through these clear skies that we see. There's, the sky is beautiful right now. 
and we have a crescent moon out there. Uh, and the winds are from the west southwest at around three miles per hour. So it's cooling off. It's a cool night. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar. We're looking very clear around the northern plains right now, but the west is getting very wet. And off to the east coast, they're getting plenty of precipitation as well, this time in the form of snow. We're looking at snow in Pennsylvania, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. So we're hoping to keep that out of our forecast for quite a bit longer. <laughs> Let's take a look at the weather pattern that we have set up over us right now. Here's your Futurecast satellite and radar. High pressure over the Midwest and the Southeast parts of the state. Near us, we're looking at a low pressure system that has a, a warm front moving through our area tonight and into tomorrow. Now, as we move into tomorrow, we will see a cold front start to make its way down to the Southeast parts of our state. And as that goes through, we will see our temperatures cool back off throughout the week, giving us much more average temperatures for this time of year. Let's take a closer look at South Dakota and how this is affecting us. Here's that warm front moving through tomorrow morning. That will be bringing us temperatures in the low 80s across the area. And there isn't going to be any rain associated with these fronts moving through. We will see a couple of clouds pop up, but mostly sunny skies for your Sunday tomorrow. Now, as we move through our day, we will see this cold front moving into the area that'll go through. And by Monday, we are expecting a cool off from those temperatures. So it'll go from around 80 degrees back down to the low 70s and upper 60s in the area. Now, by Monday, we are expecting an increase of cloud cover and going into Monday night, a chance for showers. Now, as we have all of these fronts moving through our area, how's that going to be affecting our winds? Well, let's take a look. Here's our Futurecast winds showing from the southeast right now. Those will be shifting tonight. And by tomorrow, those winds from the southwest will be bringing in warmer air. So that is why we will be seeing this increase in temperatures. Now going into Sunday as that cold front goes through, we will see those winds shift yet again from the northwest and those will be bringing those colder temperatures. So those wind speeds really tell the story of what we are expecting these next few days. Tonight, getting down to around 33, a very chilly night out there under clear skies. And tomorrow, we will see temperatures hitting around 80 degrees, an unseasonably warm day around 20 degrees above average with those winds from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's your Black Hills area forecast. Temperatures looking beautiful tomorrow across all of our area. 82 in Phillip, 77 up in Buffalo. A little bit cooler in the hills, 74 in Hill City, it was 72 in Custer. And let's take a look at your seven-day forecast, showing the big drop off in temperatures between Sunday and Monday. That rain chance on Monday night and into Tuesday. Tuesday, we will keep chances of rain around during the day as well. And those temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s throughout the end of the week. Make sure to always check out our Click Big Deals. We are sold out right now, but it's a great place to find great deals on places around the Black Hills. Another, another warm day tomorrow, huh, Erica? Yes, it's going to be great. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We have national news coming up right here after the break. During truck season at your local Ford stores, you can get an amazing deal on America's best-selling trucks. And behind the wheel of a Ford truck, things just get done. The work finished. Your cargo safe. The trip taken. The time to buy today. Now during truck season, get up to 9561 in total savings on America's best-selling trucks for 38 years. Ford F-Series. Hurry in and save at your local Ford stores. Hey, is that it? I think that's it. If you know about smoke rings, and fat caps, and burnt ends, and marbling, and flavor-producing properties of real hickory wood burned for at least 13 hours at less than 300 degrees, then we don't need to tell you much about this, other than where to eat it. Arby's, we have the meat. 
How much does it cost to buy marijuana in Rapid City today? 20 bucks. $25. $50. A hundred bucks? Only a buck. Kids can buy marijuana right now in Rapid City for as little as one to five dollars. If you think your kids aren't doing drugs because they can't afford it, think again. Would you pass the drug test? Find out more at parenttest.org. Hi, I'm Benjamin. I'm an engineering student in Rapid City, and I love my church. Hi, we're Dave and Donna Needham. We work at Rapid City Regional Hospital. And, and we, we love, love our, our church. church. I'm Bob. I'm a partner at the Firehouse Brewing Company, and I love my church. Our mission is simple. We want to show people who Jesus is. My name is David, and I'm the lead pastor of Fountain Springs Community Church, and I love my church. Covering international news this evening, we take you to the Middle East. At least three Palestinians are dead following separate knife attacks on Israeli police and civilians in the West Bank. NBC's Bill Neely reports from Jerusalem on the difficulty stemming from the recent tide of violence. There's been no let up in the violence. Another three incidents today, three attempted murders, stabbings and three dead Palestinian attackers at the end of it. It all happened in the space of a couple of hours. First of all, uh, in Jerusalem, a 16-year-old uh, was asked to show his ID by a police patrol. He did, but then he pulled a knife and tried to stab a police officer who then shot and killed him. I saw my brother run into our, ha into our apartment and uh, saying that he saw uh, a terrorist trying to stab someone and uh, then a guy with a gun came out and shot him in the head and killed it. In Hebron, about 20 miles from here, two incidents. An 18-year-old tried to stab uh, an Israeli civilian who had a gun and shot and killed his attacker. And then a 16-year-old girl asked a policewoman for directions and then pulled out a knife. And according to the policewoman, tried to stab her in the neck. The policewoman pulled out her gun and shot the girl dead. So three dead Palestinians within the space of a couple of hours. Trying to stop these attacks is proving very difficult. These are young Palestinians with ID cards, meaning they can move around this city uh, freely. They have no criminal or terrorist uh, record. So trying to predict who's going to attack next, who these people are, trying to stop them, even with concrete barriers, with checkpoints. And some of these checkpoints really are quite uh, onerous for the Palestinian population. Uh, there are a lot of them, but they're not stopping these attacks, which are now happening on an almost daily basis. From Jerusalem, back to you. And still to come, the South Dakota Rodeo Association finals continue tonight in Rapid City, plus in college football. The Hard Rockers look to win their fifth game of the season. Justin is in next with the highlights. Angela just scored a great deal on this dining set and saved an extra hundred dollars. Best day of my life. <laughs> Second best. Uh -huh. Okay, still a great day. During the housewarming sale at Furniture Row, you'll find great savings throughout the store. Plus, get extra savings of one hundred to two hundred dollars with any purchase of one thousand to two thousand dollars, and enjoy no interest for four years. Save big during the housewarming sale on now at Furniture Row. On your mark, get set. Punch. Get the ride of your life in the 2015 Nissan Altima. With blind spot warning and up to 270 horsepower. What is not to love? It's really comfortable. It fits to my body. Nav, map, camera. Choose Altima with 0% APR for up to 72 months or for a limited time, save up to 35.25. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. The greatest snow in the Black Hills at Terry Peak is right around the corner. Now through the end of October, lock in your half-price Terry Peak season pass. It's the perfect Christmas gift for all the snow lovers, including yourself. Enjoy unlimited skiing and snowboarding all season long with adult passes at $319 and junior passes at only $190. It pays for itself in less than seven ski days on the mountain. Purchase online at terrypeak.com or call or come see us 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily at guest services throughout the month of October at Terry Peak. What excites me is really the challenge of solving problems of many different natures and being a good servant to uh, all the people in our communities. Patients come into the cancer center with all types of fears. If I can give that patient hope, then it's very rewarding. I believe in what I do here, and I know that we are making a difference. I am regional health. 
I am regional health. I am regional health. This is New Center One Sports with Justin Wickersham. Well, the South Dakota School of Mines football team returned home this weekend after a big victory over Central Washington last Saturday. With the victory, the Hard Rockers improved to 4-2 and two on the year and are currently in second place in the GNAC Conference. Today, the Hard Rockers hosted another GNAC opponent, Simon Fraser from British Columbia. The Hard Rockers jumped out to a 16-point lead at the break in the second half. Trent McKinney hands it off to Devin Nixon, who picks up 12 yards on the play in a first down. Nixon rushed 20 times today for 74 yards. A few plays later now, Robbie Girardin boots a 23-yard field goal, and the Hard Rockers extend their lead to 19. Start of the fourth quarter now, Simon Frazier in Hard Rockers territory. Ryan Stanford airs this one out, and it's intercepted by Jordan Copeland in the end zone, and the Hard Rockers shut out Simon Frazier 19 to nothing. The school of Mines has won five out of its last six games and is now five and two on the season. In other college football action today, Adams State topped Black Hill State by 20, 44 to 24, plus CSU Pueblo ro uh, rolled over Shadron State 48 to 10. Meanwhile, South Dakota State turned two first half turnovers into 14 points, and the Jackrabbit defense held Youngstown State out of the end zone in a 38 to 8 victory. Also, South Dakota squeaked out a win over North Dakota State 24 to 21. Tommy Armstrong passed for 261 yards and three touchdowns to help lead Nebraska over Minnesota 48 to 25, and right now. Colorado leads Arizona 24-7 in the third quarter. Well, from college football to high school volleyball, Rapid City Central hosted the Tigers from here on this afternoon. In the second set, Shannon Katz places this one perfectly in the corner for the point. That gave the Tigers a 13-11 lead. Later on now, the Cobblers keep fighting, though. Michelle Johnson with the kill, and Central pulls it within a point. Still in the second set, Emily Artiman gets it to Sarah Carr for her fifth kill of the match. Huron goes up by three, 17 to 14. But then Alyssa Lorenz comes up with a huge block here for Central. However, uh, Huron prevails with a win over the Cobblers in straight sets. Also today, Rapid City Stevens powered past Mitchell three sets to one. And Belfouche won the Douglas Volleyball Invitational Tournament today. The Bronx defeated Spearfish two games to zero. In women's volleyball, the School of Mines lost to Western State in three sets. Also Colorado State Pueblo, too much for Black Hill State. The Jackets lost in straight sets as well. Shifting gears to the ECHL, it was another tough night for the Rapid City Rush. But Jonathan Narbonne scored in overtime to help lead the rush over Idaho by a score of five to four. And now to Rodeo, where the SDRA Finals are taking place this weekend at the Kerstead Events Center. Tonight was the second round. We'll start with the bareback riding. This is Andrew Hall from Wagner, South Dakota. He's currently fourth in the standings, and tonight he had the top score in the first section with 74 points. Moving on to Jake Smith of Rapid City. He moved into a tie for first with 74 points as well. Smith also leads the average with 142 points on two head. Now to calf roping, this is Rex Treby from Hecla. He moved into the top spot last night with a time of 10.3 seconds. Tonight, he posted a time of 10 seconds flat. Up next now, Levi Hapney of Quinn. After winning the first go-round last night, he tied the calf in 10 seconds as well. And Hapney leads the average with 19.2 on two head. The finals wrap up tomorrow afternoon. And finally, the American League Championship Series continued today. The Royals looking to go up 2 to nothing over the Blue Jays. Toronto jumped out to a 3 to nothing lead, but the Royals answer in the seventh inning. Eric Hosmer drops a base hit to center field. That scores Ben Zobris to make it 3-1 to one at that point. Later on with a tied at three apiece, Alex Gordon doubles to center. Mike Moustakis scores to give KC a 4-3 to three lead. And the Royals rally to win this one 6-3. Game three is Monday in Toronto. Meanwhile, the Mets defeated the Cubs by a final score of 4-2 to two in game one of the NLCS. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Ashley Berry. And I'm Jade Berry from Someone's in the Kitchen in Rapid City. We really appreciate that Pioneer Bank and Trust is local because we're a local business and so are they. So they're great with communication, customer service. You never worry that you're going to run into a problem that they can't solve. With Pioneer Bank and Trust, we can walk in and it feels like you're actually talking to a family friend. Pioneer Bank really understands the way that retail works, the way that business flows. It's nice to have that kind of a partnership. Pioneer Bank and Trust is local. The season is here. Are you ready? Gear up and save big at Cabela's Ultimate Outfitter Sale. 
Find great deals like $170 off a Garmin Rhino 650 GPS radio, $50 off a Bushnell The Truth Rangefinder, 20% off select Cabela's Equax base layers, and up to $40 off Cabela's Iron Ridge hunting boots. Make this season count, and don't miss Cabela's Ultimate Outfitter Sale. Shop in store or online at cabelas.com. South Dakota undergraduate students continue to find a high quality education at Shadron State College, thanks to the Shadron State Eagle Rate. It's more affordable than ever to be a part of Shadron State's proud tradition. Find the major you want with CSC's outstanding on-campus and online programs. With a degree from CSC, you'll have the tools to succeed in your career. South Dakota students, take advantage of the Shadron State Eagle Rate today. Call 1-800-SHADRON or visit csc.edu. By all of us, for all of us, the next Harley Davidson Motorcycles. And finally tonight, the newsroom has been buzzing lately. There's a lot of negativity in the news, and it's not often that we get to cover something more lighthearted. But we have quite a fun newsroom here at News Center One. A lot of personalities, as you all know. And so tonight, we want to show you the highlight of this week behind the scenes here at News Center One. Let's just say one of our anchors has a little more personality than most. Take a look. Well, as you can see, um, all of our photos everywhere are only the biggest sports stars, only the biggest music stars, only the biggest of the big get to make our, our photo, <laughs> our photos here. Okay. You made me laugh. We've got to do that again. <laughs> only the biggest of the biggest stars get to be in the photos at the Civic Center. And as you know, we've got a big photo lineup in here. So if you're on our wall, you're one of the big of the big. The big of the big. Take a look. There he is, our own Justin Wickersham. He says that he's officially made it. Now he's up there at the <laughs> Civic Center. So you can go and visit him seven days a week now. That's exciting. Justin, congrats. Well, thank you. Look how many years it took me, though, to get my picture up there. I know. I mean, look. I mean, he just snapped. He Snapchatted congrats, us earlier Justin. this <laughs> week you. and said, we... We've got to show you, you know, look who made it. So I thought that that was hilarious, and I needed to tell you that, Well, Justin. that's the best part of my job is getting to go to the sporting events, and you can see I'm having fun there, yeah. right there on the court. I mean, you really yeah. made it hidden behind that camera and all. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I just want to quickly mention to um, everyone and all of my loyal viewers who have stuck with me for so long, you know who you are. Um, tomorrow's my last show here at New Center One. I'm heading to Columbia, South Carolina. So I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that Tune in tomorrow. We're going to have fun. And we're going to miss you and so much. So much. I what is this show going to be without you? I don't know what I will <laughs> miss the most about the Black Hills. I don't know. It'll be tough. At least we made it up uh, Harney Peak this week, though. I know. We did. We made it up Harney Peak, so that was finally one of the big checklists that I needed to do and accomplish while I was here. So and exciting. You, you guys had perfect weather for that hike, too. We did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at our weather for this week. Temperatures dropping off tomorrow, and then we'll put a chance of rain in our forecast for Monday night and into Tuesday. Temperature is very fall-like this week in those upper 50s, lower 60s. And by the end of the week, we'll just mention that we will have a possible chance for some showers at the end of the week as well. All righty. Thank you so much for joining us on your Saturday night. We'll see you tomorrow night at 10. Until then, have a good night. Which truck brand do you think offers best-in-class HD towing, best V8 horsepower, and has Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year? Ram. Chevy. What do you think? A Ford. Oh. Here's the answer. That's the Chevy Silverado HD, the Chevy Silverado, and the Chevy Colorado. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. It's Truck Month. Now qualified buyers get 0%.